about the artistry of the one and only Jim Shore. From Hartwood Creek, this is the first annual spring and Easter angel. And you know how collectible Jim's angels are. And we have a choice tonight of our black angel or our white angel. So excited to be able to offer these to you. And the size on these, five inches tall. And you're looking at something that is completely ornate and beautiful. From the beautiful red cardinal in the basket of Easter eggs to the wonderful and ornate design in the gown, to the gorgeous angel wings, the belt around the center, even the halo, which is mixed material, because that halo is metal. These are amazing. $26 is your QVC price, three easy payments, and we have your choice tonight of the black angel or the white angel, both complete with that cardinal. Cardinal being, of course, a symbol of a loved one lost, who shows up to remind you that all is okay and that you're being watched over. That is something that is so, so special. We're excited tonight to welcome in the artist and the man that makes this possible. My good friend Jim Shore is here. Nice to see you, sir. Hi, Dave. I tell you, it is wonderful to be here with you. You know, uh, we've spent more time together, you know, uh, with this Skype thing than we have uh, previously. <laughs> it's true story, no, it's, sir. It's great, to, it's great to be with you. It really is. Thank you for being uh, here tonight, and thank you for staying up late with us. Talk to us about your <laughs> angels, because these become very collectible. This is the first annual Spring and Easter Angel, so I'm guessing this is the first in this line. Is that right? That's true. You know, um, angels are my favorite subject, really. It's one of those things that I always have at least one angel or a grouping of angels at any given time. You know, whereas I do I do Santas and snowmen and lighthouses and all that stuff, cats and whatnot. But but angels are always first and foremost uh, in my, you know, in the things that I do creatively. It's such a wonderful, um, you know, canvas to do a uh, a storytelling with, you know, and and that's kind of what I've done here. You know, early on when I started doing angels, you know, the angels were like either they were white or they were light blue or something like that. You know, what I started doing is is making them colorful because you know angels that they you know the the character the personality of an angel is you know so many things. It can be strong. It can be you know loving. It can be you know caring. It can be you know protective. It can be all those things. You know and and th these angels here, you know, symbolize something that I think is wonderful. You know, and it's the the, the Easter is a, is a you know is a, a, a holiday that uh, it has the double meaning. You know, the, the the sort of the whimsical part of it. You know, where you're with the eggs and the color that kind of stuff. You know, or the uh, you know uh, the crucifixion and, and resurrection is also the part of Easter. So uh, this is kind of a combination of both. You know, you've got the the symbolism of the angel, and then that you have the basket of the colored eggs and the flowers, and so there's a lot going on with this angel. It, it's not a simple piece, you know. The the uh, what goes into you know creating the face that you're looking at now, you know, with that serene expression and those blue eyes, you know, and, uh, and then then you know the with the 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 project of doing the ba the basket with all of that that's a that's a major project all by itself you know and i've got with the cardinal which is of course a symbol a symbol of so many things to so many people you know it's as you as you said it's a it's a symbol of remembering those that have passed on you know but it's also a, sort of a, a harbinger of wonderful things to to come you know as spring starts to unfold so it, th this angel you know says a lot and, and it's you know it's uh it's a small, compact angel, and sure. I think it's, sure. it's it's beautifully done. And I'm I'm so happy too that we've got the two versions, you know, the the black version and the white version. You know, right. I think it uh, right. I think it really speaks to it'll it'll speak to people in a in a very warm and and wonderful way. It's true. Both are only five inches tall, but they are mighty in their presence and in what they represent. This is something very, very special. And I would encourage you to remember that these start out as sculptures. Jim, this is something you began as a, uh, as a sculpted piece, and then you create a mold from that sculpture. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. It's, uh, it's quite a process, actually, but it's all, it's all hands-on. You know, it's not an industrial factory process. It's all a studio process uh, with my team of, uh, of fellow artists that I've trained and, and the painters that we, uh, 
that we have that, that are doing all of this, when they do a reproduction of my original, it, you might as well say that it's a hair's breadth away from being an original because it's all handmade, it's all hand painted with a brush and exactly the same style and technique that I that I use myself, you know. But once the design is done and that and the sculpting has started and you know, we do the carving or sculpting it, uh, you know, to do the original, and I have some of the originals right here in the studio. And then we make a, we make a molding process where we do a uh, we do a uh, master tooling and then we do production molding and we go into and each and every piece the quality the quality that goes or the quality control I should say that goes into each one of these pieces is extreme because I you know the if we do uh, multiple pieces you don't care if it's if it's uh, you know the 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 five hundredth piece. You know, you don't care about the previous ones or the ones that come later. You only care about that one. And that, that's what I think about all the time. You know, I, each and every one, whether I'm signing my name or whether I'm doing a sculpture or doing, uh, you know, a, a casting a, a piece or, you know, doing the painting or whatever, I think about the one person that's going to get that piece. And that's who I'm working for at that time. You know, so each and every one of these pieces, I can absolutely guarantee you that is the quality and the consistency is there. And, and the, the, the beauty of the detailing in the flowers, the basket, and then that, that sort of frieze that goes around the, the bottom of it is, I think, just a beautiful decoration where it's a combination of the, my signature sort of rose modeling elements along with the, uh, the flowers that go along with it that well, sort of mimic the decoration on the, on the, the wings even. Well, Jim, I can tell you over 500 of these are gone, and we've got a lot of people awfully excited to see a beautiful angel in your collection and thrilled tonight they can order it either in our Black Angel or White Angel. And, sir, it is always such a pleasure to have you back. Let's do this again soon. Thank you so much, Dave. I'll, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> that sounds fine, sir. I hope you and your family are well and uh, continue to be safe. Thank you, sir. All right, let's check in with Allie and see what's going on from her end. I believe it's all about decorating the end.